captured the essence of the We're going up. Tahiti was amazing and that story the product of it <laughs> did I think we would be there you know when we met back in 2016 had no idea but so happy we made it and here we are 2020 married baby baby on the way COVID. <laughs> yes COVID. can you not put your voice in there My favorite part of Tahiti was, man, it was so many from the overwater bungalow. Was making this. <laughs> was making this one. My favorite part of Tahiti, from our overwater bungalows to the nice seafood, the beautiful seafood, our amazing dinners, swimming, maybe us in the water together. Chris doesn't get in water like that. I mean, I'm not afraid of water. I take showers every day and I wash my hands for the full 23 seconds. Just leaving. What's this called? The Holy Grail? Uh, the Holy Steakhouse? Somebody's Steakhouse. Holy, it's called Holy Steakhouse. I'm going to have this really good lobster ravioli. You have meat, y'all. <laughs> Seafood, okay? It's, it's poultry. Meat. That's meat. I just can't come well, no, actually, to an island and, different. and not indulge in the local. And plus, I'm pretty sure that they lack a lot of chemicals and a lot, a lot of hormones that American companies, you know, once we ship and import all this stuff and feed all this hand-me-down stuff to our animals, it doesn't taste the same. So this is organic. This is good quality seafood and meat. I'm sure they slayed somebody's goat right up back. It's different. So they don't look like the Hollywood sign, no. <laughs> Come here. He does. About to get blasted by a car. <laughs> Say hello, sir. <laughs> um, it's no remorse. So Shana had a great idea for us to start to record some of our conversations. And we were just talking about uh, putting our story out there for people to know how we came about and just the journey that we're on right now. And um, if it's boring, you ain't gotta watch it, but if you like it, then you can share it, that's giant. <laughs> it's um, the honeymoon, so how fitting. It's the honeymoon, we try this out, so. Um, first of all, let's not even talk about that right now, let's talk about uh, Morea. <laughs> Why did you roll your tongue? Maria. 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 Maria, that's it. Maria was the name of my first girlfriend. Chronicles of Kristen Gray. You want to talk about that? You don't want to talk about your first girlfriend? Yeah. Let's talk about your last girlfriend. Shana. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> that's accurate. I made her into my wife. This right here is called the... Uh, I was about to say something, but these tourists are Look looking at, that at me. Look at that shirt. That is called sweat. This is called humidity in this beautiful island. It's so worth it. It's so worth it. Okay, don't get killed. Maruru. Maruru, Maruru. means thank you. Switch the camera. Maruru means oh. you're welcome. Maruru. We're going in the store? We're going in the store because we're going to gather some things so that we don't get parched and that we don't die of hunger as we wait for their spread out dinner and breakfast and all that good stuff. Maruru. 
Maruru. Mm. Not Maduru, but Maruru. <laughs> Maruru. Thank you. And, and you're, you're welcome, welcome because they don't say both. That's the what somebody told us. Dominant today. language is French and uh, Tahitian. Okay, this is a jewelry store. This is not the right side. Is that closed? It must be. Oh, no. I'm going to say that this means they're closed. Because <laughs> I'm sure. Door and oh, That'd and the bench good. in front of the door, and the lady sweeping. But she's got a ton of stuff in there, so we just went into town for nothing. Oh no. Uh, Let's see if we can get in here. Babe, can you shut the door though? Keep the air. No, I opened it. Are you guys closed? Oh. They're open. Maruru. <laughs> And then you get scared to come in. Well, I didn't get scared. I just, I saw her. She seemed like she was closed. Nobody listened to me. They were all right. For the second time, as you stood outside that restaurant. Just, what restaurant? Just follow your wife, babe. This is the truth. Guys, follow your wife. <laughs> Okay. I'm following you right now. Follow you through the convenience store as we spend up all our bread on some snacks. This is the lizards, and, and it's fine. It's fine to eat mosquitoes and small bugs. That's what concierge said. days and I had them in the jungle or something, they would be my friends. So I don't have to be afraid of them. Right? What do we name them? Benny and who? Bobby or something. I don't know. Benny and Bobby. Oh, he's up there now. They move fast. Oh, they move fast. I don't mind if you run out and don't return until I leave. That's fine with me. Is that why your pictures are all over here? Because you, this is your room? And we're here. It's fine. Wanna right, come in peace? You ready to leave? Let's get out of here. Did you think we would be here in 2016? No. Sure did not. But in LA, living my life. Met you. It's definitely a dream come true. We're talking about when we met in 2016, whether or not we could see ourselves being married and on our honeymoon in Tahiti. Is, is that something that would really come about? Like, And I guess essentially we both dreamed that it would happen. You know, we wanted it to happen, but we just didn't know. I mean, you don't really know which way love is gonna go. But I didn't see you. You know, you're in LA for a while and you date and you dream about relationships becoming more of what they are, but then you're met with like a lot of disappointment. You kind of lose the whole idea of longevity, I guess. It seems like a bunch of temporary forevers. But for. I know I wanted something different, but given our situation, no, I didn't know that we would be here. <laughs> it was truly breathtaking, not many people on the island, and it just made it a special way to create some space in our relationship. We needed space, we needed to be away from everything and everybody, and we were. I hoped we would be here. I think... Maybe about six months in, I was a bit more certain that we would get here. But, not off that. And our first date was amazing. And then the chemistry was awesome. Yeah. I knew that would be the best thing you've ever had, but... 
I didn't know I wasn't sure if you knew what to do with it. No, I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I was, uh, I was scared. But I'm glad we made it. Me too. Your pretty feet. Your pretty feet. That's the same color polish you had in your Instagram photos. Actually, it's a little darker. Lighter. No, it's a little darker. The ones in your IG photos were like light blue. That's more like a turquoise. Yeah. That was my color for a while. I was rocking turquoise for a minute. Nails and a... What's been the biggest relief that you felt? Since we met. The biggest relief? Now? <laughs> um, probably the wedding. Our ceremony because there's like tons of love in the room and the focal point was about us which is what it should have been. But experiencing you focus on so many other things and not really put the attention on us. This is the first time where it's like, it seemed like everything was in its right place, prioritized correctly. Um, and you were happy. You were happy, no strings attached. You weren't caught up in a lot of other stuff. Just a really good place. And I was happy. And my family was here. Your family was there. So now. And then there was the rooster that didn't die. That was kind of funny. So, I wish we would have uh, had the phone out a little bit sooner because we just witnessed something. Yo, this rooster was walking in front of us. And tried it was to cross like, the street. It was running from us and it tried to cross the street. Kind of did like a dodge. Dodged a couple of cars. Because it was like, oh shoot, like I shouldn't have done that. And it's like, it yeah, bro, back. you should probably wait. Cars flying <laughs> around here like so a full speed. And then he said, forget it, I'm about to do it. So he goes across we the street. We hear the car coming. So it's like, this ain't going to end well for you. And sure enough, <laughs> car blasted the blast this rooster. You just hear, it's like laying the blister, on the ground. And like the feathers flew off. It's laying on the ground sideways. We're walking by. I'm getting sad. Shane is like, Chris, it's okay. I was like, oh, shoot. It just blasted the rooster. It rolled off the side of the road. I'm just like, man, this is sad. <laughs> then it popped his head up. And we're watching it because we're sad. So we stop and we look. And it rolls off the side of the road. Next thing I know, I said, where'd it go? And it's up walking again. It popped its head up like, what's good, y'all? Oh, And it rooster. got up and was about to cross the street again. I thought the thing was about to die. I thought it was laying there, you know, saying his last prayer. That doesn't make sense. You know, about to do his last cock-a-doodle-doo or whatever. That joint got up and was like, what's good? That makes no sense. It's literally... If I got blasted by that car, I would have been laying on the ground doing my last cock a doodle doo. How is it that humans get hit by cars and they die, but a dog on rooster bounces right blasted. back up? Like show, show the a feathers car. The were next gone. Car, the next car coming by, I'm gonna show y'all how fast. Cause it didn't stop. Here you go. So look at this car coming. Just blasted a rooster at that speed. Blasted it. And it hopped back up. It hopped up. It was like, what's good? Lost about. 40 feathers. Yo. I'm thinking the, the legs was all twitching. So no, roosters. No. Don't cats, mess with a rooster. Cats don't have nine lives. Roosters have nine lives. Roosters anyway. got one life and it don't die. <laughs> it doesn't die. That was so crazy. A joint, it was like laying there deciding if it wanted to lay on the road and rolled over and just got it into the like grass and got up like, what's good? And nobody cares except us. That was sad. 
That was so. No, everybody else was around just like. Mm. Nobody cared. Like they just hit roosters all the time and it's all good. They just get back up. It's no problem. We felt so bad for that thing. And it just got up like, I'm good. Because you heard the impact. And almost crossed the street again. <laughs> I witnessed a, a crime scene. That joint got up like. That's strange. Then I wanted to run away. Because I'm like, if a car can't end this rooster's life, I certainly can't end this rooster's life. Like if that joint came out to me, I would run. That was weird. Cause I can't, you know, like. Maybe on this island of Maria, no one dies. Not even the roosters. Maybe just not the natives. Like. <laughs> That's so crazy. Oh. I feel like. Don't worry, babe. We can't die. It's push a, bee. a rooster off a mountain. <laughs> and it'll get back it. up. You watch it fall, and you're just like, oh man. And then you just hear it. Or yeah, that noise. That, it, that was a real rooster. What we just did was a chicken. And at that point, I realized that the uh, the island was haunted. Stay tuned for our next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to follow me, Instagram, Twitter, Shayna's Galaxy, and check out my website at shaynabgray.com. <laughs> Mm-hmm.